हेलो फ्रेंड्स आज हम लॉस्ट वार्स के चैप्टर टू खेलेंगे गेम स्टार्ट करने से पहले चैप्टर वन में क्या हुआ था बता देता हूँ एक छोटी सी बच्ची जो अपनी स्टोरी नैरेट कर रही थी उसका नाम इजाबेल है वो उसके मम्मी पापा दादी और भाई के साथ रह रही थी इजाबेल डिसाइड करती है एक स्टोरी लिखेगी इजाबेल अपने स्टोरी का लोकेशन एक इमरजेंसी प्लेस स्टोरिया रखती है और स्टोरी का मेन कैरेक्टर का नाम ग्रेस वैसे प्लेयर को ऑप्शन मिलेगा स्टोरी जिसे इजाबेल लिख रही थी उसका मेन कैरेक्टर का नाम चूज करने के लिए मैं ग्रेस चूज किया हूँ स्टोरिया एक पीस एंड मैजिक प्लेस है जिसका गार्ड एल्डर रिबा कर रही है स्टोरी में आगे चलते एल्डर रिबा ग्रेस को कुछ मैजिक वार्ड्स देते हैं जिसे वो यूज करके ऑब्स्टैकल पार कर सकेगी अब बिना किसी टाइम वेस्ट के गेम शुरू करते हैं Go on. Show them what you can do. Use your word magic to get to the fireflies. That's it. They're accepting their new guardian. At last, I can get a lion. Glowing light surrounded her. A timeless energy that bursts stars. Forge sons. Now she was part of it forever, and so Grace became the new Firefly Guardian. But her biggest adventure was yet to come. Hello, Journal. This time of the year, it gets dark so early. Like the day, it's just an accident, and the night is how the world really works. Stars and fireflies glowing in the dark. I've never actually seen a firefly. Do you think that matters, Journal? Things are cool, especially in nature. On holiday in Wales, Gran and I would go to the beach. And look up at the stars. But one night, we looked down instead. The stars were shining in the water. It was like the sky got flipped upside down. We took off our shoes and socks and waded into the water. As we walked over the pebbles. Glowed beneath our toes. Grand said it was called bioluminescent, tiny plankton in the water, being moved back and forth by the tide. Just little creatures, but it felt like magic. I got up very early the next morning. I sneaked into the kitchen, got a jam jar. And went down to the shore, to where I'd seen the plankton.
one evening, I was so excited, I carefully put the jar on my bedside table. And waited for the night. But it didn't glow. I was devastated. I showed Gran the jar. She laughed. Gran always says, You can't put a cork in nature. They need sunlight and nutrients from the tide. Gran knows about those things. She used to be a marine biologist. Gran bought some special algae that would grow at home. We spent the whole day planning it. Lights. Company. Glass stones, water, corals, a house, pebbles, sand. We took pictures for Gran's photo album for our future selves to remember. How the tank took ages to fill. How we took turns stirring the algae in. How happy we were when we had it all set. Just needs time to develop, said Graham. After six days, the algae was ready. I put the tank on my desk and ran my finger through the water. My own bit of magic. That was Mum. She just got a call. She has to leave now. It sounded really bad. I have a weird feeling in my stomach. Something I don't know how to deal with. We just heard that Gran has had a stroke. I don't want to believe it. I can't lose her. Grace woke from a hazy, distant dream. Something unnatural had stirred her from slumber. What's that noise? El Dereva? Grace! A giant creature is attacking our village. Attacking? I thought the 
fireflies protected us. There must be something wrong. Get to the tree at once. Hurry! What creature could have caused this? And suddenly, Grace was surrounded by smoke and cinders. As she hurried past the crackling rooftops, her concern grew. Hey, Grace, you gotta hide. You can hide with us. No. Broken? The lift. Um, okay. Find your own hiding spot then. She looked at her burning treetop village. This was all she knew. She needed to get to the Fireflies. She needed to keep everyone safe. Please, Grace, help me out. I'm trapped under this thing. So glad to see my feet again. No, no, no. I need to get to the firefly tree. The bridge was beyond repair. Grace rushed out to meet it. Soon she would prove herself as the new village guardian. I can do this. Right, Firefly? Right? But she could not deny the creeping terror. The earth yawned below her. This tree did not comfort her. It was as scared as she was. With nobody around to extinguish them, fires burned out of control. Strange blaze crackled ahead. Is that fire? I've never seen a flame like that.
The sacred bell lay silent on the ground. Soon, the dreadful realization dawned on Grace. The fireflies were gone. A new determination rose in her. She would find. Fireflies. I know. Our people will fall sick without them. Don't give up hope. I'll get the fireflies back. May the love of this village guide you, always. Grace took a deep breath. She knew what she had to do. She was the guardian. She would bring the fireflies back home. The earth could fall away beneath her. The earth could fall away beneath her. But she would not. He stopped. This was further than she'd ever been before. And yet it was... exhilarating. Wondrous. And terrifying. Fear was at her side. And hope in her heart. But things were about to get worse. Much, much worse. Is that a dragon? It's big. But Grace would not slow down. Not for crumbling paths. Not for giant monsters. She would make it answer to her. No matter what. She would catch the dragon. No, wait! She raced forward. and leapt. Hello, Journal. We went to see Gran today, in the hospital. It looked like... a big grey fortress. It took us a while to find the right room. Dad let me open the door.
Gran has a big, cozy bed at home. Nothing like the hospital one she was in. Lying in there, she looked so small. I don't remember her being that small. Gran's eyes were open, but she struggled to... She just couldn't... Speak properly. The doctor said it was called... Dysphasia. It was caused by the stroke. She's usually so talkative. But now... She kept... Stopping. Mid-sentence. As if all the words she could find were just... Out of reach. I could see it really frustrating her. And then Gran started coughing. They put an oxygen mask on her. I told her she looked like Darth Gran. She smiled at that. That reminds me of Gran telling me how she took Mum to the cinema a long, long time ago when Mum was my age. A Gran story! Gran and Mum went to see my favourite movie. Mum fell asleep, but Gran fell in love with it. When I was little, Gran would show it to me. On a battered video cassette, Gran would laugh at the robots and guess a funny smile. Whenever the scruffy looking smuggler showed up, we'd watch it until we could quote all the best lines. We laughed a lot. Once she gets out, we're gonna watch them all over again. And when the next movie arrives, Gran and I are going to go to the cinema. Together. And soon, Gran and I will be playing games again. I can't wait! This time, I'll be all her high scores. For sure. Tough cookie in video games and everywhere else. I heard Mum crying in her room. I've never seen her cry before. She looked so sad. I didn't know what to do. So I made her a cup of tea.
just like grams, she said. Mum said Gran was getting tired. I said she's getting better. Mum said she felt helpless. I said she was just sleepy. Mum said Gran's going to... I said she's going to be fine. Everything is going to be fine. All you need is a leap of faith. Will Gran still be Gran after this? Of course, she'll be fine. Fine! Gran is going to get better, right? I made her smile. That should help. Got to keep positive. Mum needs me to. I'll show Gran my story. Mum as well. They'll enjoy reading it. I hope it helps. What else can I do? I just need to finish my story. So, where were we? After the dragon attacked the village, Grace set out to find the fireflies, leaving Elder Ava and her village behind. Her journey took her to a vast desert with a guardian who guards it because it is Oh.